Do you have a plan, an earthquake plan that is? As someone who just moved to San Diego like three months ago, I did not know what the great shakeout was. So I did a little bit of research and don't get me wrong, I love this state. I just don't really understand why I need to practice hiding underneath my desk when I do that all the time anyways. Injuries occur while people are moving when the ground is shaking underneath them. Now, lots of Californians participated in this important drill today, but if you didn't, here's what you need to know. In the event of an earthquake, you need to drop, cover, and hold on. And it's counterintuitive, but you'll actually want to stay inside instead of running outside of a building in the event of an earthquake, because if that building collapses, it poses a larger safety risk. Number two, environmental safety. Also a good idea to secure things like large picture frames, furniture, or even TVs so that they don't fall over onto you in your own home. Finally, there is an app that you can get that will alert you in the event of a great shake. San Diego is close to many major fault lines. Here are the main ones that you should be aware of. La Nacion fault line, the Rose Canyon fault line, which is considered a bigger risk since it runs through our urban core. And obviously the San Andreas fault, though that runs north and east of our county. There's also the Elsinore fault line, which has been historically quiet. The Elsinore fault line, if you will. It poses a big risk if it does wake up. Happy shake day, San Diego.